Hello, welcome back. So today's video is for a Capricorn. So if you're ready and you have something to drink, let's get this party started. So we'll shuffle these up. These are an Oracle deck. The Enchanted Map Oracle. Oh, I'm just having difficulties holding on to them today. But towards the end of the video, we will consult the tarot deck that I have to see if they have any uh, information they would like to give out as well. So, if you're ready, let's get a better view. There we go. All right, so if anything falls out, it's super important, and we'll put it off to the side. And towards the end, we will look deeper into it. And just so everybody knows, if you're new to the channel, this is just for fun. We all know that energies change. Um, the future isn't set in stone and can change depending on the way energies flow, as well as your actions in the present. These two cards fell out. I'll shuffle them just a little bit more, and we will lay them out. If you're new, I'm Grandma Gaines. This is Bohippian Life. I'm a reselling grandma on multiple platforms, but this video is all about the cards. Again, an oracle reading. Seven card spiral. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. With the important cards right here. And these cards are read as they fall, upright and reversed. We have home in the upright position. Magic, prayer, reversed. Now, card in position one, this card represents the energy currently around you. So what is going on right now? So Devani, education. Let's look closer. And I meant to say Deviani, I apologize. Education in reversed says stubbornness and the desire to know it all and be right no matter what will not get you what you want, my friend. Or it could be that you're afraid to be seen as someone who knows less than you're supposed to. Could you be flying through life by the seat of your pants, hoping no one will notice you're skimming the surface of things? My friend, life is filled with lessons, some bitter, some sweet. A strident lust for certainty will never bring you the wisdom you seek. Pretending to know more than you do won't make you wise. Be assured that not knowing is a magical place to be. All manner of mysteries are revealed, so be open. It's okay not to know. Card in position two. This card, oh goodness, mountain reversed, reveals the underlying energy and it may come as a surprise as it can reveal hidden qualities within your subconscious. Let's look closer. There is an obstacle to your inquiry. This is not the time to move forward. Wait a while. Be patient, and a way around the mountain will be revealed. Pushing forward is not in your highest good. Don't try to climb too high to grasp the prize that seems out of reach. My friend, it is. For now. If you exceed your limits, 
you'll find yourself tumbling down and you'll get hurt. Remain open to new possibility rather than stubbornly forging ahead. Card in position three. This card shows any influences that are coming into the situation. The gentle gardener reversed. This card is a good indication of what you'll need to deal with. Reverse, gentle gardener. Do you harbor resentments? Let's look closer. Do you harbor resentments? How often do you reinforce negativity by affirming lack and limitation? Every time you send out a desire for something but secretly harbor a belief that you're undeserving of it, of it you plant weeds in the field of your dreams. When the gentle gardener appears in the reverse position, she reminds you to be aware of any negative thoughts or selfish motives. She encourages you to step back and pay close attention to what thought seeds you send out into the world. Weeds choke the life out of your beautiful garden. No need to fret, however, because once you recognize recognize this, you can always remove a bad seed and replace it with a healthy one. Forgiveness is your most powerful restorative tool. Card in position four. Deep freeze. This card brings any potential obstacles to your awareness. Now remember, this is not necessarily negative, as obstacles can be fun things that delay us for good reason. It's hard to get rid of that glare. Deep freeze. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forego ambitious activity. A pregnant pause, if you will, allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships, my friend, to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere and not needing to. This is also a time to put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now. So reflect, read a good book, or get a massage. Rest and dream. Card in position five. Golden Palace. This card gives you an overview from a spiritual perspective, and it often reflects or expands on the meaning of card in position two, which was your mountain reversed. Golden Palace. This card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth and prosperity. It may also indicate emotional fulfillment, as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that's long overdue. The message here is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have, no matter how abundant your life is. Instead, it comes from what you are, how authentically you're living your life, and how much love you're willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible rewards. But my friend, things come and go, and knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now. Share the wealth. Card in position six. Dry desert. 
This card offers a course of action or shows the energy of the type of action that will benefit you most in your current situation. Is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like you're on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until after consistent effort, you reach the oasis you're searching for. Go deep within yourself. Find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within you. This may not seem like the most productive time. My friends, looks are deceiving. This is a most important place to find what's truly right for you. Card in position seven. Coming apart, reversed. Let's look closer. This card presents a possible future outcome in relations to the energies of your current situation. Possible future outcome. A situation is unraveling and your best plans are leading you into a tricky maze. Your challenge is to separate out the elements of this puzzle to get a better perspective on what happened. You may have lingered too long in a place where you didn't belong anymore, seduced by a temporary solution. As you untangle yourself, it's important to maintain a sense of humor. Don't fret. You will learn something valuable that you'll need later when faced with a more dangerous situation. Breathe and know that you are loved. Let's look at the two cards that fell out. So the first one we have is the home card. Let's look closer. Peace, safety, security, belonging, and all the features one would want from home are indicated now. The home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin, to live comfortably no matter what is happening in the world around you. It is a time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or one special person who makes you feel like you've come home. Home is love and love is all around you now. Whatever your inquiry, you are where you're meant to be and will reap great benefits by staying on this path, regardless of where it leads. Home is always, home will always be with you. It is where the heart is. And the second card that fell out first is the magic, magic prayer card. Let's look closer. The magic prayer fell out reversed as we were shuffling. And it says self-will that goes unchecked can bring difficulties. Reversed, this card is a sign that you mistakenly believe that your way is the only way. Could the path you're on be leading you to a place of regret? Or could you? you be pursuing something that just isn't good for you? If so, you may be facing a painful lesson and a lonely one too. Perhaps it is time to pray 
and meditate on your highest good and the highest good of all. Spirit may have other plans for you. Be assured that they will be better than any you could ever dream up, Deviani. Let's let's see if the tarot has anything to say. We'll shuffle these up. And see if anything falls out. Oh, we did have a few. All right. So first we have two of swords. And the two usually means the beginning of, let's get closer. Beginnings, the start of something new, fresh. Um, the next one we have is Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is more or less your, your shoulder of lot of responsibility. We'll look deeper, though. And then the last card that fell out is the Seven of Cups. And there's nothing wrong with an imagination. So, let's see if we have a time frame. The Two of Swords... The swords represent the fall season and something that can happen quite fast. So the two of swords can happen in an amount of weeks. So it could be a number of two weeks. Again, it can represent the fall season or a time frame from September 23rd to October 2nd. My friend Deviani, I don't know if that means anything for you. The Ten of Wands... This represents the spring season, and again, something that is approaching fast. This can be an amount of days, so it could be 10 days. Or I have a time frame, date December 13th through December 21st. The Seven of Cups. This one represents the summer. This is something slow. And it could can be a number of months. So it could possibly be seven months. And a time I have for this slow, whatever this is, whatever's going on that is slow, a time frame from November 13th through November 22nd, if you want dates. Now let's look and see what the Two of Swords has to tell you. Maintaining a state of non-action due to internal conflict will ultimately transform to brute force in the long term. The Two of Swords says mentally you feel like you are stuck in a situation over which you have no control alone in the barren landscape of mental turmoil. You are holding on to distressing thoughts that are immobilizing you and, my friend, depressing you. At the moment, you are your own worst enemy because you refuse to see that only you can release yourself from this prison of your own construct. The Ten of Wands. This card... Meditation will always be, oh my gosh, that is not what it says at all. Oh my goodness. Ten of Wands. You will always be alone when you carry too much. The Ten of Wands says, you have shouldered too much responsibility and burden in your life. These can be past, present, and future cards as well, my friend. It is time to figure out a more efficient way of going about your work responsibilities. And it is time to delegate 
and pass on some of your passion for the project onto others. That is the Ten of Wands. The Seven of Cups. Whoops. It is within your rights to create pie in the sky ideas. Just do not expect anyone else to feast on them. The Seven of Cups says, in the realm of your imagination, anything is possible. However, the imagination needs to be kept in check as it does not always convert well to material reality. There is fanciful and there is downright deluded. You need to use your imagination in a practical way or, my friend, it will use you. Be more Albert Einstein than Walter Mitty. Uh, let's zoom out farther. Oops. And again, my friend, don't forget, if you are encountering deja vu all of a sudden, um, there could be a reason why. Are you, are things crossing your path? Um, more often, you know, like out of the ordinary, you know, they can mean something. Are you drawn to a specific color? And I'm not saying your favorite color, just, you know, all of a sudden, uh, these all symbolism can mean, and it can mean so much. And if you are, um, and you would like, maybe we can dig deeper and see what quite possibly it means. In relation to your reading as well. So my friend Deviani, I hope you enjoyed this reading and it helps you in some way. And we can always, um, if you like, go deeper with any of the cards. So, um, whoops, <sighs> hold on. Anybody else watching this video, if you are interested, again, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share. You never know who in your inner circle, like-minded tribe, would enjoy this video. And I do offer free readings. I have um, a few empty spots monthly. So I will leave all the links in the description box below. If you are interested, send me an email. I also have membership levels that I offer where um, some levels have these in them as well. Again, I hope you guys have the best day ever. Deviani, if there's any more I can do for you, please just let me know. Um, I am here for you. You guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you again.